hi this is Rhoda and this is welcome to Games Haven it's been quite a while I brought my son at the park to play and I thought I'd come in here and chat with you the sun is so hot just right in my face in front of my face and so as I watch my son play at the back I can do a tiny little video I'm trying to get the right position this is better yeah so actually today I wanted to talk about um, the battle of the tongue, you know. The tongue is such a small tool in our mouth and the Bible tells us that the power of life and death lies in it. Surely it's quite amazing, like how can a small thing in between my teeth hold the power of life and death? But that's the fact. The Bible says that... The power of life and death lies in the tongue and those who love it will eat of its fruit. And so I think it's from that context that the enemy really fights our tongue. There's so much battle that goes on in our tongue. And you find that most of the times you speak things that you didn't want actually to speak. And what you ought not to speak is what you speak. Isn't it amazing? James chapter 3 um from verse 6 onwards outlines the effects of the tongue it says such a small thing and directs the course of your life and you know um bring so much out of it you know there's gossip there's lying and everything that is associated with it just because the enemy is battling that gift of life that is in our tongue and so my word to you today is to encourage you that you will use your your your, your tongue but i can know no, you will use your tongue to speak life, you know, to speak powers, to speak health, to speak good things, to speak wealth, to speak victory, to speak dominion over your circumstances and over your situations. And so um, there's so much that the Bible says about the tongue. It says that those... Um, those who, who love it will eat of its fruit, that they cannot be good and bad coming from the same fruit. And yet from our tongue, we bring good and bad. We bring lying and we bring blessing. The Bible says that there cannot be blessing and curse from the same tongue. So choose today. Are you blessing or are you cursing with your tongue? What have you chosen to do with, with your tongue and the power that lies in it? And my son usually runs like, I don't know. So choose, choose what you want to do with your tongue. Let it speak life, let it speak victory and dominion. And so as I was doing my Bible study and having a quiet time, I just realized how much battle there is on the tongue, you know. There's so much battle in our tongues. Romans chapter 4 from verse 17 says that we call those things that are not as though they are. But actually what do we do? We call those things that we call things the way they are, you know. If you are broke, you're like, I'm so broke. But the Bible tells us that call those things that are not as though they are, you know. But when you are sick, you say, oh, I'm so sick. I have a headache. My heart is aching. But the Bible tells us that like, let the weak say, I am strong. So I find that the enemy is really fighting us so that we don't speak the truth of God. We don't speak what God tells us to call forth because when we speak the things we want to see, it's not that we are lying. It's because we are using the power, the creative power of our tongue to bring forth the things that God wants us to have in our lives. So I'll see you next time. Speak life. Bye-bye.